Hello and welcome to the lab. In the lab today we're looking at making and testing paper bridges with jazz. So today's challenge is to make a bridge using two sheets of paper. The distance between the supports or piers of your bridge must be at least 20 centimetres. We'll use bottle caps of rice to test the strength of the bridge. Here's Jazz in his lab. He's going to show us how he tackled the paper bridge challenge. Two sheets of paper, glue stick or stellar tape, a bottle cap to measure the weight, a pair of scissors, a ruler. Oh, that's a clever idea. Jazz is using a length of tube to act as a former. So you can see in front of me, I've got some designs from Leonardo da Vinci. He's made bridges in the past. Always look at history. That's really good advice from Jazz. There's so many places to be inspired. Let's see how Jazz turns a weak sheet of paper into a strong bridge. So what we're going to do, make two folds. One. So by folding a piece of paper into a channel shape, he's made a strong beam or deck for his bridge. And with this one, all I'm going to do is fold the paper over the beam. Line it up. My first crease there. As you can see, I've um, made my beam. Jazz has made a square beam from a sheet of paper. Now he's going to cut it down to make two columns or piers to support his bridge. You can see I've got to take my big beam and I've cut two small size supports. And you can see they're a lot more stable than the big one I had. As mentioned in the rules, the span, which is a gap between the two supports, must be a minimum of 20 centimeters. So we lined up to 20 centimeters. And that's 20 centimeters there. So previously we folded a sheet of paper, or paper to go onto there, and you can see it supports it quite well. Put a glue stick on there, and you see it collapses. So what can you do to make it a bit stronger? I've got three samples here of different shapes you can use. I've got a triangular beam, which is quite secure. This circular beam section, again quite secure. Also, I've got a box section beam here. Experiment with different combinations of beam shape and sheet to find out which makes a really strong bridge design. Then you'll be ready for testing. I'm going to use drink bottle caps full of rice for a measure, but we'll need a container to sit on the bridge. You can make one by folding up some paper into a box shape. Place your rice container or box in the middle of the deck of the bridge. Use the bottle cap and rice to fill it up. Each cap is worth about 5 grams of mass or weight. And my bridge has gone. So 25 grams makes my bridge collapse. So there you go. Add up the number of bottle caps that you use, multiply it by 5 and that's your score.